knowledge from somebody that I look up to when it comes to SEO, and you guys know that doesn't really happen very often. So, um, Becker, if you would, man, come on, introduce yourself, and let's uh, let's get this thing kicked off. Yeah, cool. Let's kick it off. Everyone, real quick, just let's all type in a quick one or a ty or a thank you for Joe for being here. This is what a trooper after all that stuff, crazy stuff. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex Becker. Joe, uh, as always, thank you so much for uh, letting me talk to your customers. It's going to be a really cool webinar. Real quick about me. My name is Alex Becker. You might have heard of me. You might have not. Not a big deal if you have not. I'm kind of just some weirdo who sits in his basement and, and does SEO and makes software. Uh, well, with that being said, I'm the CEO of SourceWave Software, but you guys don't really care about that right now. So let's just get straight into what we really want to talk about it. You guys aren't here to hear my whole life story and see pictures of me on the beach and stuff and like other webinars. So two things I want to cover before I get into anything. First off, in this training, I'm actually going to train. We're going to sit here for 45 minutes to an hour and I'm going to teach you everything. Yes, there is a product that is being mentioned in this webinar, but this is a product I use to go out there and do everything I'm going to show you in this webinar dirt cheap. So that's kind of going to be how we're going to frame it like that. I'm going to be sitting down, teaching you, showing you and building a PBN right in front of you, showing you the site, showing you everything. So before we get anything, this is not going to be some webinar where I beat around the bush for an hour and then give you like some real answer pitch at the end of it. We're just going to get straight into it. There's going to be training. It's going to be a very straightforward, transparent offer. On top of that, how many people here, give me a two if you've ever been in an SEO webinar and the person who is talking uh, will talk all this SEO theory and all this SEO hoo-ha, but he'll never show you a ranking. He'll never show you a site that's ranking. He'll show you like rankings for like super, super, super uncompetitive terms that don't generate money. How many, how many people here? Give me a two if you've ever seen that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of twos. One of the reasons I like Joe so much and we do a lot of business together, he talks to my customers a lot because Joe actually has proof. He has rankings that actually make money. So let me, before we get into it, show you the results I'm getting with what I'm going to teach you today. Let me go up and use this uh, Google Chrome thing. <clears throat> All right, so what I want to show you before we get started is four types of rankings. I want to show you competitive affiliate ranking. I want to show you competitive local ranking. I want to show you myself going up against other SEOs and winning. I want to show you uh, myself going out there and ranking a lot of videos on YouTube. So right here, uh, if you go and type in online guitar lessons, massive term based around online guitar lessons, you can see my site right here, shredsource.net. I'm not going to dig into the site right now, but if you click on it, you'll see my face and everything like that. If you type in best online guitar lessons, we show up there. If you type in beginner uh, online guitar lessons, we show up there. And this right here is about $100 to $150 a day SEO website. Not the biggest affiliate website in the whole entire world. But this is just point blank going out there and ranking for terms that actually make money. If you go and type in Dallas rhinoplasty surgery, okay, pretty big competitive term because rhinoplasty surgery makes a lot of money. With that being said, you can see my site right here, findrhinoplastysurgeons.com, uh, showing up number one and two. It's an absolute mess. I just use it as an example, ranking, uh, mostly because when I rent the website out, people start spamming whatever client I have on there with all sorts of um, lewd emails, so I'll just leave it at that. But if the cool thing about this site is if you type in like anything, if you type in like, I believe, Texas rhinoplasty, uh, we show up first for that. You can see that right there. You type in plano rhinoplasty, uh, we show up first and second for that. Now. How about a term where I'm actually going out there and beating other SEOs? If you go and type in SEO outsourcing, uh, how many people here would like to rank number one for SEO outsourcing? Just give me one. That would probably get you a few clients, right? That's kind of like the definition, people outsourcing their uh, SEO. Uh, so you can see right here, we show up number one for this, sourceway.com, SEO outsourcing, uh, beating virtually every SEO who wants to rank for this term. Uh, and every single person trying to buy ads for this term. Now, if you go into Google and you type in Ty Lopez, okay, basically like the biggest make money online guy in Google right now, just getting millions and millions of views, have a lot of uh, respect for his marketing. It's, it's very cool what he's been able to do. But what I did is within a month's time, I already rank almost higher for his name than he does. Uh, and I'm able to get tons and tons and tons and tons of traffic to this video that's less than a month old. That's about 62,000 clicks, uh, actual views, not just like click ons, but that person actually viewing that video uh, in about a month's time. And just for future reference, I'm not saying Ty Lopez is a scammer. It's just a cool headline. I actually defend them in the video. I don't really know too much about them. I just use it to click, get clickbait. Uh, if you go and you type in buying a Lamborghini, and by the way, I just run a fun you know, YouTube channel for fun. I'm trying to grow it just by organic traffic on YouTube. Uh, you can see we show up number two for right there. And that video has gotten 120,000 views in like three months. And all these rankings I'm showing you right here are built upon PBNs. That's my bread and butter. That's what I do, period. A little bit of Sinwar. I promote Sinwar all the time to my customers because that's what I combine it with. And that's it. 
Okay, so two things, guys. Give me a one. If you believe what I'm going to show you actually allows you to rank for stuff, just give me a one if like, you get it. I actually do stuff. All right, now give me a two if you're excited to actually see how I do this. I'm going to show you the exact sites behind it and everything. I'm going to show you the actual links going to these websites. So super transparent, super easy. So let's get into the actual training and all that cool stuff that you're here for. Now, I'm going to skim through the initial stuff because I don't like fluff. I just like getting straight to it. But I think everybody here knows the state of PBNs if you've just gotten into it. If you're going out there and you're bidding on PBNs, uh, you're digging through like the, the bargain bins, basically moonzy.com. You're basically, it's a pain in the ass. I'll just leave it at that. It's a super big pain in the ass. It's over competitive right now and it's driven PBNs into basically severe overpricing. If you're going to go, uh, let's, what do you call it? What's a big register auction thing right now that you can go through? Uh, you can go on GoDaddy and stuff like that, but you can also go through like auction tools. Oh, register compass. I'm going to show you that in this webinar. I'm an idiot. Anyways, if you go on those, you're going to see domains, mediocre PBN domains going for $50 to $100 to $150 per pop. Give me an X if you relate to that. You just go through and you have to spend all day looking through auctions or you have to go out there and you have to just pay way too much to build a PBN. I mean, it's usual now if you're a beginner starting off and you want to build a 10-site PBN and you don't know where to look and you don't know how to find these domains, you're going to be spending $1,000 to $2,000 building a 10 to 20 site PBN. It's it's crazy and that's not beginner friendly. That's not anyone friendly. That's just expensive, period. Now, what's going on right now with PBNs is there's a few SEOs out there uh, getting PBNs for next to nothing and they're selling them for like a $10,000 return. They're able to go out there and pick up the domains for free and then sell them for $50 to $60 a pop. It's profitable. I'll leave it at that, okay? Uh, and I'm, I would say everyone give me a one if you wanna be one of those people, but duh, duh, okay? so. I think everybody here can relate if you're building a PBN right now. The typical day is you dig through PBN auctions for hours to find one good domain. Uh, you pay a vendor or an auctioneer out the butt to pick up a domain. And by the way, if you're spending, you know, more than $25 per domain, $20 per domain, you're still getting ripped off. I don't care what vendor you're going through. Or you can dig through Moonsies for like 10 hours to find like a bargain bin domain. It's just a huge pain in the butt. All right. So give me a why if you relate to that, if I'm barking up the right tree. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. So until now, I'm going to show you the magic process to get around that, guys. So what I'm going to show you how to do today, guys, in this training is I'm going to show you first off how to get access to hundreds of thousands of domains for cheap, like seven bucks. You're never going to pay more than seven bucks for a PBN domain uh, again. I'm going to show you essentially how to build unlimited powerful backlinks to them. I'm going to show you how to set up domains, how to place the backlinks on them, everything like that. I'm going to show you what to look for and how to gauge them, aka the links you should look into going into the domain. I'm going to show you how to set them up cheaply. Uh, I'm going to show you what to put on them link wise to get epic rankings and FY it's not much. Okay. If you're going by best practices, there's a lot of stuff you have to add in it. I'm going to show you the quick way to do it. That works just fine for me. And I'm going to show you the best practices. And then finally, what I'm going to do you do for you is I'm going to show you how to buy the PBNs for $7. And I'm going to show you how to sell them for 30 to $50. Easy, easy. Okay. And I'm also going to show you how to do that on source market. Uh, source market is completely free. It's just something we have out there where you can sell a lot of PBNs and stuff like that. Um, that's it. So I'm, I'm going to skim through that real quick. So the big loophole and the real key to this, guys, is I've gone out there and created an unlimited a way to get just essentially unlimited amount of these domains. And in fact, all you have to do is just go in there and type in a few keywords and you can just get back thousands of these domains very quickly. So let me show you this real quick. Uh, this is basically key to everything. Uh, let me jump over to this right here okay <clears throat> so what we're looking at right now is a tool that i created called source revive now i'm sure a lot of you guys have gone out there and you've bought pbns with trust flows and domain authorities or whatever and you've paid way way too much for them uh what i'm going to show you to do in this webinar is how to use this tool it's pretty cheap for what i'm what joe's gone you in this webinar but more so i'm going to show you how i use this tool to go out there and find these domains and you don't have to get any other tools uh, to go out there and do this so right here this is just a demo crawl that i have going on i'm going to show you the inner workings of this tool and how it works later on the webinar i just want to show you the potential real quick this is a demo crawl i just have running i started at the beginning of the webinar you can see i've already found 288 domains so i can go through here and sort by domain authority and trust flow and you can see i got a good one right here martinharris.co.uk and if we go and throw this into namecheap if someone doesn't register in the webinar before i do i've had that happen a few times
you can see that website is available to register. So you can see this site with really, really good metrics right here, Domain Authority 18, Trust Flow 20. I'm not looking into checking if it's spanned or anything yet. I'm just showing you what this tool does. And it basically, by going in there and copying and pasting in a website, typing in a keyword, or posting in some old links going to a website, I can just get a list of, you can go through right here through my account, uh, where's the projects I just kicked up right here. Oops, just jumped into another account real, real quick. Let me jump out. I'm, uh, I was under another account. Two seconds. Let me jump under my account that I set up for the webinar. There we go. All right. Yeah. If you go under my account, you can basically see I have, I have thousands of domains right here ready to just be picked up. Okay. So give me a three if you understand the gist of the software. I, I have. If I go to this one right here, uh, you can see when I click to it, just literally thousands of domains I can pick up, all good metrics and stuff like that. So give me a three if you get the whole gist of this, okay? Someone says this whole webinar gonna be about the software. No, what I'm gonna show you is how I use this software and how they look at the domains and everything like that. I highly suggest you pick up this software by the end of the webinar, it's amazing. There's nothing else in the market that does that. But if you wanna go out there and do things the hard way, this webinar is still gonna train you a lot of stuff. So you get the gist of how this software works and I'm gonna show you how I go out there, dig up these domains, uh, throughout then what I look at links wise and what I put on the sites and stuff like that now before we get into anything guys I'm not gonna hard pitch you this whole entire webinar do the beat around the bush thing I'm also going to ask you if you want to hop on source revive and what I'm gonna do in this webinar and what Joe has asked for uh, and what this tool allows you to essentially do is it allows you to find limited PBN sites and buy them uh, for nothing okay you don't even have to buy them and you can turn around then and use these sites to place your links on that have really good metrics have really good authority and basically get you automatic rankings this is the easiest way to rank or you can turn around and sell them uh, for massive profit and when I show you on source market people are selling these domains for 50 60 70 dollars a pop and they're making eight thousand ten thousand dollars a month doing it consistently I'm going to show you a bunch of sellers uh, just on our marketplace for free who are doing this now here's the thing with it and here's what Joe has twisted my arm into doing for this webinar, what did we, our normal pricing right here is $199 a month, $297 a month, and then $497 a month. What Joe has twisted my arm into doing is in this webinar, here's the deal, okay? The package is $199 per month, it is only going to be $99 per month during this webinar. The package is $297 a month, it's going to be only $199 a month in this webinar, but when we're not in the webinar, you only get 6,000 minutes per month with this. If you jump in during the webinar, you have unlimited minutes. So not only am I also giving you $100 off, I'm also going to give you unlimited minutes as well. With the Immortal package right here, we're dropping it $200. So you're getting massive discounts all around. On top of that, guys, what I'm going to give you if you hop in is I'm gonna give you one month at Source University for complete free. And what we're gonna do is basically train you to build PBNs and give you all the stuff that I can't get into in an hour in this webinar don't get me wrong in this webinar i'm going to show you myself building finding pb pbn sites building them from scratch placing the links placing the videos ranking the sites i just showed you at the beginning of this webinar top of that i'm going to give you access to ab level black it's a two thousand dollar mastermind i'm going to give you five not you're not getting access to the whole two thousand dollar mastermind but i'm going to give you five webinars they're worth about i don't know 297 bucks they teach you how i get clients how i go out there and rank clients how i use pbns to rank clients also going to give you a month at the gold level of our rank tracker this is basically something you can track all your rankings in and then finally i'm going to give you a copy of my acsr advertising course it is going to teach you how to use facebook ads to sell pbns sell links on your pbns and more stuff i'm going to get into in a second on top of that guys in this webinar what I'm also going to do, if you buy in this webinar, of course, we're going to mail out a replay. If you buy in this webinar, what I'm also going to do on a $99 package, instead of 2,000 crawl minutes, I'm going to up it to 3,500 crawl minutes. So you can basically use that, that. That's more than enough to find you know, 200 domains in a month. On top of that, if you jump into as well into the higher package, I'm also going to give you two months at Source University. So there is a reason to hop into this webinar. So if you guys are interested in that, anytime during the webinar, go to source-wave.com slash JT. I'm going to copy that in the chat box, and then we're going to get into the training. So let me go. Oops. Let me grab that link. I'm going to throw it in the chat box, and we're going to get straight into it. All right, so there you go. And feel free to steal any of the domains I'm talking about in this webinar, guys. So what we're going to show you guys during this webinar, I copy and paste it in there. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find the sites, how to analyze the sites, how to set them up safely, what to put on them, and there you go. So let's get straight into it, guys. How do we go out there and find these websites and revive? I'm going to show you. It's really, really dang simple. So let me hop over uh, the source revive. All right, so 
I have a list of PBNs actually right here that I found right before this webinar that I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you the methods behind how I did them. So the first thing I want to show you immediately is in Revive, all you need to do to go and find these domains is I can go right here and the simplest way to do it is just typing in a keyword. For example, I can go right here and I can type in guitar forum. I can take type in number of pages to crawl to 75. I'm not going to set a time limit. I'm going to put in guitar ninja 24 is the name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the crawl date to go back in time in Google. Okay, so the way this works, guys, is essentially it looks at all the old websites in Google and finds the links linking to those websites. Now, these sites are usually old and some of them don't even exist anymore, but they're showing up in Google back in like 2008 or something like that. So the sites linking to them are probably linking to a lot of other expired domains that we can pick up. Does that make sense, guys? What it does is it digs through the links, digs through the links of the sites linking into the website, and then goes and finds all the expired domains that they're linking to that have good metrics that we can pick up. So does that make sense? Give me a one. <clears throat> and again, guys, while I'm getting into this, again, I'm not trying to super hard pitch you the software or anything like that. There's nothing else in the market that does this. Like I invented this for this process. You can do this process but you, if you get together like eight other tools and put them on a VPN. It's a giant pain, costs like $400, $500 per month. Uh, I put it all together for a fraction of cost. So not hard pitching you, it's just there's no other way to do this. So keep that in mind. So all I do at that point in time is I just hit enter. Now I'm going to show you the actual crawl that I did for this exact one right here. I believe it's on page three. Okay, so I went in here and I did this crawl. It's a keyword crawl. I'm going to show you what I look for in these domains. This is important, guys. If you buy domains, you want to look at what I'm looking at right here. Okay, so you can see this site right here, fofchart.com. Now, I did a little bit of the research on these before the webinar. I'm gonna, I'll start up some crawls right in front of you. But I'm going to go into this, and I'm going to show you what I'm looking for. Now, again, to start this crawl and to get all these domains I just brought back, I actually went in and typed in Guitar Hamster Extreme Training. Okay, you don't even have to try. This, this is, you don't even have to try. I'm just going to lay that out there real quick. All right, so let's go look at this website that was brought back and see if I want to register it. By the way, I've already registered this domain. Uh, but it's absolutely amazing. So let me show you what you want to look for in a PBN site when you're picking up. And this is something you want to look for if you're planning on selling it or if you're planning on actually putting your links on it. Remember my guitar website as well, guys. I'm always looking for relevant domains to hop and put my links on. All right, so I'm going to put this into Majestic. And what I want to do is look at the backlinks going to the website. Now, this applies whether you're using the tool or not, guys. So let's dig into this. I want to make sure you get a lot of value out of this. All right, so what I look at, guys, when I throw it into Majestic, by the way, guys, you don't have to have Majestic to do this. You can use a free tool called Scope Reveal. So if anybody's asking, hey, do we need to get other tools? I'm going to show you free alternatives to everything I'm doing up here uh, because I know if you do pick up Revive, you don't want to buy six more tools. And I know if you're just here in your beginning, can't buy anything right now, I'm going to show you to do it for free so you can get started and hopefully pick up Revive later on. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to look at the links. I'm going to hide all the deleted backlinks because those don't really count for it. Now, guys, look at where it's getting its links for from all right it's fretsonfire.com wikidoc.com uh divers world charts uh it's getting a link right here that says ffchart.com and if we dig through the links on this website guys it's getting them from very authoritative websites that are real guitar websites give me a one if you see that there, there isn't a ton of links on there coming to this website but the links are from real sites and what does this tell us this site used to be what was the purpose of this website what did it use what did it used to be just throw a wild guess. I'll probably yell it out there if people can't guess it. The, the person who guesses it right gets a free Source University account. Someone said news. No. When we're looking at this, what this used to be, if you don't play guitar, it's not completely clear. World charts, charts are basically what you go through or tabs on guitar are basically how you read the music, okay? So what this used to be was a frets on fire extension site where basically they had a forum on it. You can see right here, uh, the forums linking to it. You can see this wikis are linking to it. And this is basically where they used to keep all the charts and so forth, so I'm guessing, okay? Long story short, this used to be an actual guitar website. Now, if you look at the, uh, where's the metrics for it? If we go back to the metrics of the website, the metrics are really good as a trust flow of 19, and a domain authority, I think above 10. I forgot what it was when we looked over there. What I look for when it comes to PBN guys, is I wanna look for a site that has metrics above a trust flow of 10 and above a domain authority of 10. That works for me. Those will go out there and that's enough to get you some really good results, especially if you pick up about 10 of them. By the way, with Revive, you can do that for next to nothing. 
it will cost you about 500 to a thousand bucks if you do it the other way uh so does everybody see that how many people here give me an x if you'd like that yeah someone said it was a game uh fritz on fire was a game okay cool so this is obviously a guitar relevant site if you had a guitar website give me an x if you'd like this website to place links on easy easy um by the way, guys, when I'm going through this, you can go and pick up a lot of these sites I'm going through, uh, very simply. So that's the first way to go out there uh, and pick up sites. I literally just went into the settings and typed in Guitar Hamster Extreme Training just because I was bored and found a great website to bid for my guitar website. Easily able to go out there and find links. Now, let me show you this other crawl right here. And this is the, uh, what method are we getting into right here? I want to show you the reverse crawl method. Very, very, very easy to do. Uh, involves using Register Compass or Dom Cop, which is a free tool, tool as well. Okay, so you can see right here where is the share of crawl. Okay, so this right here, I basically went in and scraped all the backlinks from an old police's police station's website. Okay, and what I was actually able to go out there and find were sites that used to actually be counterterrorism sites with EDU links or, or I believe government links coming into it. Let's throw this guy into uh, Majestic and see what we got. Uh, so we got New Jersey counterterrorism.org. By the way, I've registered this domain. Okay, uh, so if we go through, look at the historical, has a decent trust flow. Uh, if we look at the backlinks coming into it, we have an edu backlink from a real edu site and then we have a dot gov website right there okay it doesn't get any better than that okay if you're looking for a website you want dot gov and you want dot edu links so look what we have right here guys and what did this site used to be just what did this site used to be and i'm going to zoom in because the answer is on the page i'm going to stop being so sneaky what did this site used to be someone throw it in there i'm not going to give you a reward because it's so easy but uh, long story short, it used to be the Department of Homeland Security for New Jersey. Okay, boom. That's the definition of a website. And the big lesson I want to give to you guys for this webinar is when you look at PBN sites, don't so much look at the metrics. Metrics can be deceiving. Look at the story that the backlinks tell. You want to find sites that used to be real websites because their metrics are going to carry over and Google's going to pay attention to that. Okay, when they have links like this coming in and they see links coming out of that website, Google is going to look at that site. Okay, again, very easy. Now, give me an X if you'd like to add this to your PBN. Yeah, tons. So let me show you how simple it is to find this. All right. So what I do is I go over to Register Compass. This is a tool that lets me go and find expire or domains up for auction. Okay. So what I do is I go find domains that are up for auction that have a high trust flow. By the way, guys, when you get inside Revive, there's tons of videos that teach you each of these tactics step by step by step. So if this is confusing at all, it's going to be taught to you over the shoulder and done multiple times in front of you when you get inside. I'm just teaching you kind of the theory behind it. So I find domains that are up for auction that have a high trust flow. Now, look, if domains are still linking to that domain while it's up for auction, a.k.a. it doesn't exist anymore. Imagine all the other domains that they're passing that juice to. Remember, the site that's up for auction that has the really good metrics is getting its metrics from the sites linking into it. So if those sites are linking to sites that don't even exist anymore, I want to find where else they're linking to, which is very, very easy for us to do. Uh, this is also why you don't need Majestic SEO if you pick it up. So I'm going to go to the main search right here. And I've done a few searches right here. And what I like to do is a few different searches. I either type in stuff looking for news sites, I look for local area websites, or I look for old government websites. That's what I like to do. I really like police stations because there's hundreds of them that are expired that you can dig into. So I ran right here and I typed in the search police, okay? Oops, don't do that. What are you doing, Register Compass? I'm trying to make you look cool and you're bouncing, all right? So then I go over to auctions. Now, what I do from the auctions, guys, is I go and organize this by trust flow. And the hardest part of this is finding the trust flow tab right here because it's written in ant. Okay, little ants are the only ones who can read it. All right, so I go and find the ones with the highest trust flow. This one has a 19. Okay, uh, police scanner, or Hoboken police. All right, so what I then do, guys, is I go back over to revive. And this is tough. This is tough. All right, I go to new crawl. I go to reverse crawl. And I copy and paste the URL in. I put maybe... 200 pages, whatever it is right there. And then I go and type in, uh, ah, all right, whatever I want to name it. We don't, it doesn't matter right now. And then I hit begin reviving. That's all I do. That's, that's it. That's it. And then it kicks up. Let me go. There we go. And we'll check back with that here in a sec. <laughs> you can see the wonderful name while it's pending and stuff like that. Um, with that being said, how many people here, give me a two if you think you can do that. 
pretty easy all right so what's happening right here guys is it goes to majestic and let me jump over to majestic and show you what it's doing uh, where is it all right so it goes to majestic and it pulls all the backlinks for the website so basically it's going to go through and pull all the backlinks from this website and then scrape those so it's going to start digging through that all the places that those sites are linking to and then jump from page to page to page and basically go and find all the other expired domains that they're linking to very 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 easy way uh, to go out there and use that so let me show you an example of the results that the reverse crawl got me uh, and that's all I did like what I'm showing you right here is literally all I did that is it everything I just showed you in that those two seconds is what happens where's the crawl that I had going right there uh, you can already see it's cr it's crawling up it's already scraped over 14,000 pages going through that so we'll come check back on that later um, you can also see the demo one that I created for this webinar just got done I remember at the beginning of the webinar when I only had 200 pages it's now found over 810 uh, URLs that I can go out there and register. So uh, it's neat. I like it. Uh, so anyways, I did this for the Sheriff Crow right here. All right. So I'm going to go look at the available domains. I'm going to go to settings just so I can show you. Um, and I went in here and I did a reverse crawl. So basically, I copy and pasted in this URL right here. You can see womanslaw.org. Basically, copy and pasted in. Digs through and goes and grabs all these. Okay. So Hopping back to the other page, let's look at the domains it was able to find me, and I have the cool ones right here. By the way, guys, almost all of these right here are good domains you can register. I'm going to show you like three that I picked up, but if you guys want to check these out right here, you can go pick them up. Arkansas County Sheriff, uh, NewHontoPolice.com, uh, DearburnHeights.pd. If you want to go pick them up right now uh, before someone else in this webinar registers them, more of them area. Okay, that that's how abundant the domains are with this. I can just give them away. I don't care. All right, so. I'm going to go right here, and I picked up a few domains like this, all right? This one right here, CheshirePolish.com. It's a tongue twister. I can't even pronounce that. But you can see what these all used to be. is just old police department websites. I have a link from PoliceDepartments.com, um, Conquest.com, old police departments, CriminalWatch.com, uh, Guilford.ct.us. I don't know what that is, but it sounds authoritative. Connecticut Bail Bonds. I mean, look at this. I just have endless amounts of links coming in to this website that are just saying, hey, this used to be a guitar website. There's no SEO being done here. There are simply links that are real coming into it. So give me a why if you see that so I can move on. This is if everybody gets the gist of it. I'm going to show you the one last crawl. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm looking for. Um, I want to show you guys real quick what to not look for when it comes to domains. And it's really simple. A lot of people overcomplicate this to the moon. Uh, let me go and pull up Another one, let me go into, yeah, one second, let me, pull up, let me pull up a crawl, gone wrong, okay, um, let me go, two seconds, Where, where's a good example, okay, um, here we go, actually, there we go. Okay, so this one's a really good example right here. Um, so I want to show you what some examples of spam looks like so you just know what not to look for. So guys, I'm going to make it really simple. When you're looking for domains, especially when you're not spending a lot because with Revive, you can get them for like seven bucks. What you want to look for is really just links that tell a story. Okay, links that tell a story like I've been talking about this whole entire webinar because those are real links and you can rely on those. Okay, so I want to try and someone find some of these right here that are just pure spam. All right, so I'm going to organize by Trustful, aka Good Metrics. Um, I'm going to bet you 10 bucks to save back right here.com is pure spam. Okay. So we're going to go throw this in here and we want to not so much look at the metrics. We want to look at pure spammy links, which is AKA what's the word for it? Spammed over and over again, anchor text and then links coming from like blog comments. But the most apparent thing will always be anchor text. Okay. So if you can see right here, um, this guy right here is basically putting a comment on every single one of these blogs with the keyword dabber, 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 jabak.com. Um, look, it's just tons and tons and tons and tons of spammy links. Okay. Um, do you see that right here? Just, he's, he's basically, this is just a comment link blast right here. Give me a two if you see that. Just the same link over and over and over and over again. Same anchor text over and over. If there's any advertising anchor text whatsoever, like Gucci shoes, Ugg boots, or the name of the website spammed over and over again, it's spam. It's just spam. Now, the next thing you want to look at, which is good,
but in this case it's not good is you want to look for real pages that used to be on the website okay so you can see right here davisabak.com or however the hell you pronounce this thing you can see this used to actually be a real website most SEO sites they just link all to the home page and it just spam the hell and it looks like crap if we can see that there used to actually be activity on this website and people actually used to use it it's still a good website okay not in this example because there's tons of spammy links but if we can actually see that this used to be a real website like a forum or something like that boom uh, very very good website right there so give me a two if you get that makes sense so I can move on uh, give me an X real quick if you're getting a lot from this webinar regardless of the software or not just want to make sure that you guys know exactly what to look for good tons of X's okay we are an adult webinar X X X is everywhere okay uh, no more corny jokes like that I promise all right so the last technique I want to show you to find these domains is the most difficult and uh, there's no real reason to do it but it works okay so um, basically what I'll do is let's just go find a, a simple example uh, for this where let's just go grab we'll go grab this domain right here okay now what I'll do is I'll go over to majestic all right and um, we got this site and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download all the backlinks coming into this now this is kind of an older technique because the reverse crawl pretty much eliminated this for free vibe though if you want to get kind of nitty-gritty you can use this so I'm gonna download all 30 backlinks to this website and so what I'll do is I'll go and look for websites online uh, that are expiring or not expiring you can also go uh, and do exactly what I'm showing you right here at what you call it a uh, at Dom cup this is 100% free I'm not gonna log into it right now because I don't really use it because I like register compass more but this is free and does everything that register compass does or I can do this at Moonzy. okay I can go and find sites by their trust flow again a free service and I can throw them in majestic and get the same backlinks and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna download the CSV of backlinks I'm gonna open it up and oh man I forgot I have open office on this computer the worst thing ever Okay, let's just hope it doesn't blow up in my face need to get it back to numbers okay so you can see I got all the backlinks right here guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab all these backlinks and I'm gonna go grab them and I'm gonna go then back over so many windows and my head's gonna explode I'm gonna go to a new crawl okay so I'm just gonna go to URL crawl right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this list of URLs right there I'm gonna set the pages of crawl to 100 I'm gonna tape this I'm not actually gonna run this one because I've shown you this a million times and that's it I hit begin crawling okay so that's all there is that's all there is of this and by the way you guys will be recording um, give me a three if you see how simple this is give me anybody can do this that, that's all I do all day long so let's get into actually what to put on these websites okay so that that's how I use this tool um, again you can see the one I start at the end of the beginning of the webinar already is like 810 results so pretty simple okay um, that's step by step what I did guys I showed you exactly um, and actually let me go through what would you guys prefer I do would you like me to go through revive and actually pick out PBN sites right in front of you and keep showing you the analyzing or would you like to show want me to show you how to build the sites and stuff like that what do you want give me a two or give me a one if you want me to keep going through and analyzing sites and revive uh, or two if you want me to go through and, and how to build it okay a lot of twos we'll go through the how to analyze it in a sec again guys if you want to pick up revive we're giving a hundred dollar discount across every package across the board we're also increasing the minutes from six thousand to unlimited aka you can run this all day all night and have thousands of PBN domains every single month that you can sell it's it's absurd I'll show you how much people are selling them for plus you get all the bonuses university we're gonna teach you how many people here give me a three if, if you don't quite know how to build a PBN you're not hundred percent confident you know how like you're not you're not the you're not the PBN master okay you're gonna come inside source University and you're gonna have SEOs I coach inside there but I have two coaches they're both doing hundred K a month I don't know why they coach for me I'm very lucky they're awesome I guess it's out of goodwill but you're gonna have coaches make, making hundred K a month showing you how they build their PBNs from absolute scratch uh, there's like 10 hours breaking down every detail there's also a fast version for people that are, are fast but in university it's gonna teach you how to do all that stuff you can come in and um, again it, it comes along with this so everything you'd even know about building PBNs is there I show you how I rank my clients with PBNs and how I pick up clients I give you a free rank tracker and then I also show you how to buy advertising so you can sell these websites again if you're interested uh, and also for this webinar guys if you buy during this webinar again we're upping the $99 package right here from 2,000 Chrome minutes to 3,500 Chrome minutes. so that's that's more than enough to get about hundred domains very easily uh, and since I started this webinar guys I showed you that one crawl I started that found 810 domains I started it right when the webinar starts so that's about 30 minutes 
found 810 domains, you do the math right there. All right, so again, source-wave.com slash JT, massive discount ends after this webinar. So let's get straight into how to build these sites. All right, so hosting. I'm gonna jump through this part kind of quick because I wanna show you an actual PBN site I have that's ranking those sites. When it comes to host, guys, what you wanna do is you wanna put each PBN on a one to $2 host and separate them across multiple hosts that are not SEO host. The reason for this is because if something has SEO hosting in the title, where do you think Google's gonna look for first if they're gonna take out a bunch of websites and penalize people? Yeah, they're gonna look at the SEO hosting. So pretty set up. Now, uh, with domain setup, guys, register your domains in Namecheap, okay? After you pick up these domains, let's just say I, I go through and um, we're, we're okay you can even see that one we started at the beginning of the webinar already found me 32 domains just showing you how, how simple this is guys um but if we go through right here let's just go and imagine uh, this one right here uh let's just say i pick up this domain uh coator.com this i think was actually a pretty good one and i registered this domain where i want to host it or register at is namecheap okay because they're going to give me free he was protection that's going to stop people from being able to connect all my domains together guys one big thing how many people here, I, I already saw a bunch of people that said they're kind of new to um, this process. Keep it simple, okay? The stuff I'm going through, you can get 20% of it right. I'm gonna show you my actual sites and I've done almost everything I'm telling you here wrong because I'm lazy, especially with my YouTube rankings. I just do that for fun. You can still get this right if you get 20% right. So just listen to this real quick. Someone said, what host? Um, would you guys like a list of like a $101 host? Just give me one if you'd like that. Like $101 host, you could go host that. All right, when, when Joe sends you the replay tomorrow, there's also gonna be a list of those that you can have below the webinar replay that you can pick up. Um, free of charge, there you go. Uh, I think it's like 100 hosts, it might be like 60, so don't like crucify me if it's uh, a little bit off. All right, so I'm gonna go register that at Namecheap, okay? So what I'm then going to do is, uh, I don't wanna make this too complicated for you guys, but what I wanna do is start adding a bunch of pages to the website, like, here, actually, let me pull up a website right now and show you what I'm talking about. Um, I believe it is this one. It shows up. One sec. I can just grab another one. All right, there we go. Oops, I have a plugin activated on the site. Give me two seconds, guys, and I'll I'll set I'll show this for you. I was using this as a demonstration for another software, so it's all uh, screwy because I'm a screwball, big old screws and egger. All right, so where's the header code? There we go. Two seconds, guys. Just doing some advanced leak coding right here before we get into this. All right, so let me remove this script. All right, now this should make it appear. Okay, cool. All right, so can everybody see the site? Give me one if you can see the site real quick. Yeah, cool. All right, so first off, guys, do any of these videos look familiar? Remember that video I showed you for uh, ranking for Ty Lopez's name that got me like 60,000 views? By the way, my YouTube channel uh, is all about making money online and just shits and giggles videos. Uh, sorry for the cursing. However, it's growing really fast. It gets like a thousand subscribers a week. Imagine if I went on there and like made a product. Like I could easily make ten thousand dollars a month just from that subscriber base right there uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can just go through right here. You can see my YouTube channel right here. I'm not gonna go jump to it, but you can see this same video. This is how I ranked it. Like this is exactly how I ranked it right here. I'm showing you this. How many people? I'm not gonna question because it's a loaded answer. But I know a ton of people here that would love to rank videos for all sorts of terms. YouTube is so easy to rank for if you are using PBNs. Uh, so right there, you can see just the results right here that I'm getting um, easy. Like that's the side of the link. Here's the backlink. So uh, what you wanna do first off, guys, is you wanna go and make what I like to call safe pages, all right? You wanna make like an about me page. You can see right there. Uh, you wanna make a contact me page, pretty simple. Uh, you can see it's not even working. <laughs> not the best example, Alex. You're messing up the entire site. You can see how easy this is to do though. And then you want to go and put like a few extra posts on the site that don't have backlinks on them. Pretty easy, okay? Then what I do is I wait about a week and then I go through and I just post my videos on them. That's it. Uh, that's how I rank the, the, this is actually how I rank my websites and my YouTube videos. I just post the videos on them and then I'll link out to the sites and stuff like that from backlinks in it. 
That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, the best practices, guys, is you want to put about a 400 word article on here about the topic and then link out to the website. Um, I'm lazy. I don't do that. It still works doing this. <laughs> it does, uh, as you guys can see. But that's all there is to it right there, um, which I'm going to get into the actual stuff you put on the site and everything like that. But give me a two if you get the gist. Yeah, it's that easy. Like this is the, this is not the best way to do it, guys. This is like the stupid, lazy way to rank my YouTube videos. My like client PBNs are a little bit cleaner. I'm not going to show you those because those could actually get my clients. Like, Woo! But I will show you my for fun PBNs that actually work just as well. This actually this PBN that works really powerful. And um, so that's how it's done, guys. Now, a cool trick you can do with the YouTube videos as well when you embed it is you also link out to one of your websites in the description of the video. Um, I, I think everybody knows how to post a link in the description of a YouTube video, so I'm not going to get into that. And what it does is it sends the PBN juice not only to the video and increases the video's ranking, it increases whatever site you have in the description's ranking as well. So that's a cool little trick uh, you can do right there. So that's how you go out there and set up the websites. Now, what do you put on them? Uh, you can put a, th you just theme them for a niche. Uh, on top of that, guys, when you come check out the replay tomorrow, be sure to check it out. Uh, I will also give you guys a list of like 50 WordPress themes you can use for PBNs that work really well. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to put relevant content that you're going to be linking out to. So if you're going to be linking to like a client site that's a doctor, put some, a few articles about doctors and stuff uh, on the website. Okay. As you can see on my website right here, um, I went right here and I put a few videos about Ferraris and stuff before I went out there and started trying to rank for like buying a Lamborghini and buying a Ferrari and stuff like that. So um, that's, that's just what I did uh, with that stuff right there. So very simple, very simple step. If anybody has questions, of course, and guys at the end of the webinar, I'm going to try and get the main message done in an hour's time. I will sit around after and answer any questions you have. I just want to make sure everybody walks away from this webinar going, wow, that was a really great webinar. That was a good use of my time. Cause that doesn't happen too much these days in webinars. All right. So, then what you're going to do is you're going to place links to your website with the anchor text on them. Uh, you want to kind of diversify the anchor text. Maybe if like your anchor text is, is Plano Doctor, you can make like one anchor text Plano Doctor and the other one like best Plano Doctor. You don't need to get too crazy with your anchor text ver diversification on your PBN sites because if you have 10 sites, that's not really going to trigger a penalty if you have too much over optimization of your anchor text. So when you get into like 50 sites and stuff like that, you can trigger stuff a lot better. Um, if you're ranking YouTube videos, guys, just embed your YouTube video on the site. That's it. What you want to do is you want to put like the keyword on the top of the site. So you can see out here, I put like what I what I think about Ty Lopez not being a scammer. Um, I don't think he is. If for anybody here that knows anything about him, I don't know if he is or isn't. I just, it was just clickbait. I'm not for or against. I, <laughs> there you go. Um, with that being said, I put the keywords in there, Ty Lopez, uh, scammer, and I put that right there, and boom, 62,000 views. That, like, that's it. That's it. Um, pretty simple right there. Again, domains I picked up in for Revive cost me next to nothing to do this. Okay, this is a 62,000 visitors is a lot of traffic. That's a lot of traffic, especially when like, guys, you know, like Frank Kern, like one of the best keywords you can target in Google is like Frank Kern, and one of like the best niches you can target on Facebook is Frank Kern. So when people are like Googling this guy's name, looking for how to make money online, like I show up right next to him wherever he goes till the end of time, okay? That's really, really impactful, okay? Yeah, so someone said this was Sinwire gets an index. Here's a cool Sinwire tip, guys. What you wanna do with your PBNs is you blast them with Sinwire because I'll get into the social power later on this webinar um, after the message is complete because it's not really part of the, the content, the plan content. Uh, but you blast them with Sinwire and it makes them like three or four times more powerful. So th that's when I, when Joe is talking about Sinwire to my customers, this is why I'm like, hey, pick up Sinwire because this is how I use it. And it, it works like gangbusters as well. Um, then all you want to do is place unique articles and YouTube videos and, and that's it, guys. Okay. So let me show you guys in the last 10 minutes how to go out there and sell them. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to hop over to this marketplace called Source. Mark, what am I saying? Called source market. Of course, it's called source market. It's mine. Okay, I made it. Um, just cross. I'm crossing about 8,000 members a day. It's pretty cool. This is free to use, 100% free. Um, but I just want to show you how you can go out there and sell these domains. Okay. So first off, you can see all of our top sellers. And by the way, anybody on our first page is doing about 10,000 to 20,000 a month. Okay. Anybody, if you're on the first page of this, you're doing pretty well. Okay. So you can see the top sellers on here are all people selling PR links or people selling domains. Okay, so if you go right here, like, <clears throat> there you go. It's like this one right here. This guy is easily making 
probably about 500 to 1,000 bucks a day. And you can see he has 52 orders in progress, this is right here. But you can see um, basically what he's doing is he goes and buys domains using tools like Revive or whatever. He gets his PBN sites and then he sells links from them. OK, um, you can see right here, uh, Gregory, this is actually one of my coaches at Source University. He's going out there and he's selling PBNs just like I showed you. Um, and the metrics I showed you for 47 bucks a pop. If you buy five domains from him, it's $230. OK, how many people here? would like to just go in and get into this market. Hey. Someone said, isn't Google looking at the site? Google's looking at everything, okay? Yeah, so you can just see how much you can find these domains for and revive, and by the way, they're not, these are not rare domains, okay? Like this is not, there you go. I mean, you need to check these domains for spam before you sell them, guys, but I mean, if we just go by trust flow right here, on for days, on for days, okay? Um, if you go through, let's go back over to the market. I'm trying to click eight different things. Um, if you go through over here, you can see other top seller right here. Um, he's selling backlinks from PBN sites. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Uh, if you see this guy right here, he actually goes and finds the domains using tools like Revive or however they go and find it. I don't know if every single one of these guys uses Revive, but you know that's what I use and a lot of them use. And uh, basically what he does is he goes and picks up the domain and builds a site for you. Very simple, $59 a site, okay? You don't even have to register these domains. You can just sell the domain names. That's, that's how it works. It's nuts. Now, I wanna give you guys a little blueprint to go and do this yourself if you wanna get started. This works in any marketplace, guys. This works in any marketplace. So what you wanna do if you wanna break into this after you pick up Revive and start making a lot of money, I mean, guys, uh, if you sell two domains, you pay for Revive uh, without, I'm not, I'll get into the math later on, okay? But um, what you want to do is you want to start small and increase after review. So you can see like these people right here uh, selling domains for like uh, 47 bucks a pop, 75 bucks a pop, and, and backlinks for $15 a pop. What you want to go is you want to sell really good domains for about five bucks a pop and put it under 24-hour delivery. This works on Fiverr. This works on Source Market. I prefer you use Source Market because... Um, Duh. All right. So what you want to do is you want to put your service for five dollars and put it under 24 hour delivery. So you're going to show up the highest. OK, you're also going to have a crazy good deal. So people are going to go right here. They're going to click like buy PBN domains. You're going to say, well, what ones can I get in 24 hours or what ones can I get for five dollars? OK, so after you go through, guys, you're going to you can see people doing exactly what I'm talking about right here, making money. You can also see them getting sales. All right. You can. That, this is just how they're doing it. Um, so once you go out there and you sell a bunch of domains for five dollars and people are going to scrape them up because it's such a crazy deal. All right. You're going to start getting reviews. You're going to get a few people saying, hey, this guy has good domains and stuff like that. He's not scamming people and selling absolute garbage. So what's going to happen is people are going to go through and start leaving you good reviews. And then what's going to happen is you can increase the price and start making more money. Still keep your service under 24 hours, but maybe keep your or put your delivery time up to. Oh, uh, no, put your service delivery time in 24 hours, but upgrade the cost of like 20 bucks for domain and stuff like that. And so you're going to have these reviews saying, hey, this guy's not a turd. And then that's going to encourage people to buy from you. And then you're going to be able to have a very sustainable PBN selling business. OK, does that make sense, everybody? Give me why if that uh, if that makes sense. Cool. Awesome stuff, guys. All right. So, again, guys, the key for all of this. Uh, hey, look, I'm not even trying quick. to be like, I'm not trying to hype it up. And I'm not trying to tell you like, this is the super key that's going to save your life. This is how it's done. Like, that's why I designed the tool. Uh, when Revive, like when we were the first people that ever created a tool like this, that was available, just you can log in. Okay, for guys, when you log in the Revive, that's it. You just go and copy and paste the keyword in there. Uh, with that being said, like not even trying to hype it up, guys, we created this tool to do this. This is what we wanted to unlock because the only way to do this before we created this was going and putting together like six VPS servers and running like all these complicated gizmos that um, most people couldn't run. And so people were selling these domains I'm selling, talking to you about right now for a hundred, two hundred dollars a pop, easy peasy. And I was like, crap, I'm not going to pay that. I know these guys are going out there and they're not even registering the domain. They're just selling me the domain name. I'm going to go and do that. And I'm going to bring that to the general person so that anybody can do that. I'm going to make it so they can do it at a place where it's impossible for them not to get an ROI. Each of these domains you find in Revive are worth 20 to 40 to 60 to $100. And you can go do that with just typing in a keyword in there. So guys, for this webinar only, if you want to get Revive, the thing I've been showing you this entire webinar, 
you need to hop in right now because we're giving $100 across every package across the board for this webinar. And when it closes this week, that, that's it. That's done. I'm not offering this because it's, it's ridiculous. It's a stupid deal. Okay. Joe gives my customers stupid deals. I give Joe's customers stupid deals. That's just how it works. I have, I don't have done webinars with anybody else except Joe in like well, months, months upon months, because that's just how I work. Anyways, on top of that, guys, this package right here is hundred dollars off. We're also upgrading it to unlimited minutes. If you come back after guys, it is going to be 297 and you're not going to have unlimited minutes. If you come back over here after this is not going to be $99, it's going to be $199. And you're not going to be able to get 3,500 minutes if you do not buy in this webinar. On top of that, guys, if you're not sure about how to build PBNs, all right, we're going to give you a free month at Source University where you can come in and we show you step by painful step, step by step by step, how to build the PBNs from scratch. And you're getting it from SEOs making over 100K a month. I'm going to teach you then how to go through in these webinars. I'm also going to deliver to you how to go out there and rank your clients using PBNs. I'm going to show you how I sell links on these PBNs. I'm going to show you everything you can use a PBN for in my AB Level Black webinar replays. Okay. You're also going to get access to Source Hunter for one month. It's going to track all your keywords, track all your traffic, do a lot of cool stuff. And then finally, guys, I'm going to give you a Facebook selling course that will show you how to sell these domains on Facebook, how to sell them on Source Market using Facebook. It works like crazy. So if you guys are interested in this right now, I think there's a few other things I can get into uh, with that, but you want to go to source-wave.com slash JT. Okay. Again, this offer closes after this webinar and look, I'm just going to break it down. If you go anywhere else out here, here here's your option. Or if you want to build PBNs guys straight up, here's your option. You can go to source market, you can go to any other place and you can play $75 to $47 for the good PBNs. Or you can go and load up Revive and get hundreds of PBNs for nothing, okay? Like, I, I, I can't break it down anymore. You can get, like, a PBN built for you for 59 bucks, or you can have hundreds of PBNs given to you for 99 bucks. Okay, the, I, I don't even have to, like, do, like, a, a value pitch offer right here. And you can go and sell the domains for 20 30 50 dollars a pop as long as you look into them and do their research. The, the numbers are just there. Like, I don't have to do a hard pitch because that's just how... It works. And again, guys, if you come back later um, after this oops, crazy cell phones always going off. If you come back after this webinar, guys, the pricing uh, that I just talked about, the hundred dollars off every single package. Uh, but we're also going to be upgrading this package right here. We're going to be adding thirty five hundred more minutes to it if you buy before this webinar is done. OK, again, all the bonuses, guys, if you have any questions about what I want to do is I'm going to answer a few questions about Revive right now. And then in, I'll go and answer any other questions after the webinar is done as like a bonus session. I'll just talk about whatever SEO stuff you want uh, to get into. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Becker, I just wanted to make sure you saw this one by Ali. He said, uh, I've spent over 15K on my PBN and now I want to die. Thanks for Source Revive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ali. Yeah, this is this will blow it up, man. This will blow it up. If you just, if, if, and guys, here's my advice to you. If you're like just starting off and building PBNs, um, and you only need like 20 PBNs, like 20 PBNs is enough to get you rankings in most medium competitive niches. Get the $99 package, okay? And if you want to upgrade later, well, actually, you can't upgrade under this deal later, but I mean, that will work for you, all right? 3,500 minutes is enough to get probably about 50 really good domains in a month, all right? If you're a person like Allie who has a big PBN or you want to sell PBNs or you just want like PBNs all day, every day, all right? You want to get the 290 or the 199 package. It's, it's, a, it's 297 if you come back later, but it's a dollar. Uh, too many numbers, Joe. I'm gonna my head's gonna explode. All right, it's a it's a 199 bucks a day. It's gonna be 297 if you come back later. But you definitely want to hop on the doctor package because you can just run this all day, all night, and find as many PBNs as you want. All right, you can sell them. You can find a thousand PBNs in a month. You can keep 50 of them. You can keep 100 of them, and then sell 900 of them. Now, am I guaranteeing you're gonna sell all 900 of them? If you got some amazing marketing skills, yeah, you can go do that. Actually, that's what some people do. Uh, with that being said, if you go and put them on source market and you have a good deal, you put them up there for 20 bucks a pop, and you are known for good metrics, you can easily make an extra 2,000, 3,000 bucks a month selling these. I'm not exaggerating. Like this is the, like most people be like, you can make an extra 2,000 to 3,000 bucks doing nothing. I'm not saying that, but guys, like I, I can go through the testimonials and everything on source market. I'm not pitching source market right now or anything like that. It's free. Like I can't pitch it. But if you like go in our Facebook group, there's people making like 3,000, 4,000, $8,000 a month consistently. Like 
very consistently. There was actually just a big launch uh, based around because people are making so much money. So what I'm trying to tell you here, guys, is like if you put them up in your fairly price, you can make your money back triple four times over on Revive just by putting it up there. OK, as long as you don't sell crappy domains and you follow the blueprint I gave you, you're going to make half all or double or three or four times your money back on this. Plus being able to go out there and build your PBN from nothing. Like if you have clients, you can just unlimited and you can find relevant domains, guys. Let me show you. I talked about the analyzing a little bit earlier on and I'll answer questions in two seconds. Let me just show you this um, right here. That's the wrong one. Come on. There we go. All right. So you can also see guys remember at the beginning of the webinar give me a one when you when i started that one that one crawl off at the beginning of the webinar just give me one if you remember when i, when I kicked it off mid webinar anybody i know you guys remember just hit one there we go you can see right here it's already brought me back 426 domains all right that that's you guys saw me do this live like that's that's all i did i didn't do like com complicated anything uh during this all right so Again, guys, I want to show you that you can also go out there and find relevant domains. All right. So right here I typed in like Dallas taxi. Let's imagine I had a taxi client. OK, uh, so I went in here and right here I was able to get an emergency transportation site. This is basically a site where um, they talk about emergency transportation, real website based around transportation. Um, just like that. I'm able to find real domains like this used to be A&H, not emergency medical transportation. That's it. Like this. This is like what this site used to be. Um, access travel. This used to be a medical transportation website uh, with real links going into it. OK, so you can find relevant domains. You saw that guitar crawl I did at the beginning of the webinar. Um, let's go right here. Uh, where uh, my mind's going to blow up. All right. So you can see what the guitar crawl I did at the beginning of the webinar right here. Go to Trustflow. Picked up that relevant guitar website right there. I can keep going through and probably find a bunch more relevant guitar websites as I go through. Uh, guys, also note, out of these 450 domains it found, I don't want to blow smoke up anyone's butt. There's probably only going to be about 10 to 15 good ones. Okay, A lot of them are going to be spam because most expired domains are spam, but 10 to 15 per crawl. All right? Usually, sometimes it will be like two. Sometimes it will be like 40. Okay, It just depends. Like that um, that sheriff crawl I gave, I showed you, that's an example where there's just like all of them like i can just pick up all those ones and just go through them really easily so just wanted to show you guys that um before we get in again guys price goes up a hundred dollars after this webinar if you do not pick it up at the end of this webinar when myself and joe close it out uh, you cannot get the emt package you cannot get the um the 3500 extra minutes with that so like that's that's done after this webinar no like hey it's gonna go away soon it's like it's done okay so um again the url is source that's wave.jt Uh, someone said, what are my search terms? Uh, so basically what I'll do when I'm doing search terms, we're like the keyword tool, the keyword search, what I'll do uh, in Revive is I'll just type in like, I'll type in crazy stuff because I want long tail searches because that's where the weirdest websites are going to show up that most people haven't scraped yet. So I'll type in like hamster, Batman, guitar lessons, free. Okay. And I'll throw in like hamster, Batman and stuff like that. And, and guys, like I'm serious. Like this is how easy it is but i'll throw in hamster batman to like throw a loop in the search engine so i'll pull back just a bunch of really random sites that are loosely about guitar um what i'll also do when i'm throwing in searches in the revive is i'll do it by city okay i'll do like dallas hotel okay i'll show you an example of this right here um all right so, oops, so many windows gonna die gonna die all right so um let's go to the hotel crawl that i created all right so i typed in dallas hotels and uh, I'm going to look at the hotels that came back. I basically was able to find a bunch of websites that used to be real hotels. Like if you show this one right here, um, go to Site Explorer. Uh, you can see this, this website right here used to be like the Mercer Hotel in Dublin. Okay, there's like all these adventure sites linking to it. It's like, hey, hey, stay at this hotel. It's really cool. They don't have homeless people in the bathrooms. I, I, don't, I don't know how Dublin hotels are. But you can see... These, there you go. Like it used to be a real website. So what I'll also do when I'm doing search terms is I'll do it by city and then I'll do it by like just terms like that. I'll do like Dallas taxi service or, you know, Dallas furniture. And because the reason for that guys is usually when you go out there and the more general terms, like if I go in there and type in like best weight loss proc, you're going to see thousands of like super spammy SEO sites pull up. When you get into local terms, there's usually a lot less SEO being done. You're able to find a lot more quality searches when you're doing that. 
Um, when register compass guys, I mean like what I'll do, I showed you like the complicated way to do things guys. If you just want to go over the Moonzy and just grab sites by their trust flow and um, this one right here, I don't want a seven trust flow. That's not good. And you just want to grab them and throw them into the reverse crawl. Um, that's it. You just copy the domain. You're all Moonzy. I don't like it because they won't let me copy and paste the domain name. That's what you get for paying the price of free. Um, but with that being said, guys, that's what I'll do as well. And what I'll also do in revives what I like to call a double reverse crawl. You can remember that um, that uh, New Jersey counterterrorism site. What I did is I grabbed that site again. Oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, where's the double reverse? Uh, reverse, reverse. There we go. All right, so this reverse, reverse crawl got 221 domains. What I'll do is I grabbed that New Jersey counterterrorism site right here, and I just threw it into the reverse crawl. All right, so I, I found I found a domain using Revive, and I wanted to see more domains that were linking into that. They might be linking to other domains. So I just went to renew crawl, went to reverse crawl, put in the URL, typed in, all right, and then I put in 200, and that's it. Simple. So simple, simple, simple stuff, guys. So instead, I'm getting a 403 forbidden error on the Moonzy website. It's a piece of crap, but I mean, it's free, you know. Um, so any more questions, guys, about Revive before we close it up? Again, after we close this up, the extra 35 minutes are uh, are gone. Okay, any other questions on that before we kind of shoot the... Let's see. Uh, someone said, whatever did you do on the videos on sourcewave.com? I can't see the videos. They're on YouTube, man. So there you go. Let's see. Oh, someone said extra or total in minutes? Total. So we're going to go out there and we're going to upgrade the minutes from 2,000 to 3,500. So we're going to give you 1,500 extra minutes. All right. So someone said, how can I see a lot of people ask about minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me explain how it works. All right. Actually, for Joe's people, if you hop in this webinar, we'll upgrade it to 4,000 minutes. We'll upgrade the 4,000 minutes if you get the lower package. Now, guys, um, you asked me how minutes work, and I'm going to explain it. The big question you're really asking is how many domains can I find for 4,000 minutes? Uh, so, guys, in this webinar, we've been here for an hour. I've started two crawls in this time. I found, what's five plus eight, 1,323 domains. All right, just in this 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 you, this you webinar, all right? I believe 4,000 minutes is like, I don't know. Someone, if someone can do the math, it's a lot of minutes, okay? And that's going to allow you to go out there. And if you're doing crawls like I show you, by the way, guys, if there's anything you are concerned about in Revive when it comes to it, we have a lot of training. I'm not going to say like hours because that sounds miserable. No one wants to watch me crawl stuff for an hour. We have training where I sit down and say, look, here's what I do step by step. Here's what I do step by step again. We have a Facebook group where if you're having a trouble finding domains, you come in there and I'll be there and personally I'll, I'll answer. OK, it's not like I'm going to be your personal, like, I don't know, assistant. OK, I'm not promising that. But if you're like having trouble, just go and be like, Alex, I'm not finding domains. Why? Which I mean, it's it's hard. It's hard not to find domains. But if there's any confusion, like you're putting in like weird crawls. That's usually what happens when a person doesn't find domains. They're like they're like putting in like IRS.com. And that domain doesn't have any broken links. So, of course, it doesn't work. But anyways, when you get in. Uh, we show you exactly how to go out there and do that. Now, minutes-wise, guys, how minutes work? When you start a crawl, minutes start. When you stop a crawl, minutes stop. The average crawl takes about 15 to 30 minutes. Um, and if you follow what I'm going to show you right there, you're going to be getting back 500 to uh, between 100 to 500 to 1,000 domains per crawl if you do it the way I show you. Okay. So, and that's what we're going to do. Very, very easy. And guys, look, if you come in here. And, and I'll make you guys a promise if you buy in this webinar as well. If you come in here and for some reason you blow all 4,000 of your minutes and like even if you follow, if you follow my instructions, you're not going to blow them. But if you blow them, like I'll reset your minutes once just to make sure you get results with it. Okay. If you buy in this webinar because you're not going to be able to quote me if you don't buy in this webinar because no one's going to watch uh, till this point in this webinar. But if you come in and like, yeah. Okay. But don't don't be like, hey, look, I'm just going to go spend 4,000 minutes and then – uh trick Alex into giving them to me again. If I'm going to be able to, I'm going to go in your account and be like, Hey dude, you found a bunch of domains. I'm not resetting your minutes. Okay. So like if you're having like a ton of trouble, there you go. Okay. So I'm, yeah. Someone said, are these domains for sale through auctions or set prices? No, they're not even for sale, dude. Like you just go to Namecheap and register them. Like, look, look at this real quick. 
All right, like this domain right here that just popped up. Um, let's go weunlock.net. This is a spam domain. This is 100% a spam domain. It's not an example of what a good domain looks like. Don't go and register it while I'm I'm uh, doing this. If someone does, I'm going to be sad. I'm just showing you what it looks like. Like these domains aren't even, like they're not for sale. You can just go pick them up. You just can't find these anywhere else, okay? Um, so you can see that domain I just found. Like I can go pick that up. That's expensive. We can go find, we can go to another registrar and pick it up for seven bucks, but I can just go pick up this domain right here. And this works for any domain that is in the system, okay? These ones right here, the JP domains, you have to be living in Japan to pick them up. All right, so these ones don't count, but all these ones right here with the good metrics, we can go pick them up now for nine bucks, seven bucks, okay? All right, so someone said explain the active projects. How the active projects works is, you see this running right here? This is an active project. So that means I can have one crawl winning at a time. If you can have two active projects, which comes with the second package, it means you can have two crawls winning at a time. So you can basically do double the work in half the time. Well, with the second package, you also get unlimited minutes. So you can run this all day, all day, all night. You can just wake up and find domains and sell them as much as you want. Uh, okay, guys, so someone says explain selling them without buying them. Really simple. All right, so say the domain name is ha 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 dot com. All right, you go and sell them to people, and I, I buy my domains like this. Like, this is not uncommon, okay? Uh, but you can go through and you just basically say, hey, I'll sell you 10 domain names uh, that I found for 40 bucks a pop. This is like commonplace, okay? Some people register the domains and sell them, some people just sell the domain names so you can sell them for free. Okay, so um, does that make sense? Someone said, do you have PDF instructions for using Revive? If you want PDF instructions, we can get them for you, okay? With that being said, we have step-by-step, step, like I'm gonna show you, you watch me do it over and over again. Like here's the essential training right here is what you need to watch. And I just do it over and over. Uh, and over again. So like there's there's no way you're not going to be able to use this and not find domains. Like if you are not finding domains, you're doing something horribly wrong and you're not listening to my instructions and that's okay. Okay, that that's okay because you just come into the Facebook group and I will say like, dude, this is what you're doing wrong. Do this, okay, do this. Like it, it's, it's very easy for me to correct anybody that's not doing it. Someone said, don't you have to pick domains that are themed to your niche? How can you tell? No, you just wanna look at the metrics. If you have a domain that's themed to your niche, that's good, but the metrics are all, all I really look for. Okay, that, that's it. Like you, you'll get just as good as results. Uh, you'll get almost as good as results doing that. Okay, like look at this this peekaboo, or that that site I showed you. One sec. My, yeah, there we go. All right, this site is not themed to Lamborghinis. Okay, like the anchor text coming and stuff like that is just like I, I don't know what it is. I didn't even look at. My friend Gregory sold me this domain. Um, but you can see right here, same thing, you know. Uh, someone said, what is the marketplace for SourceWave? Just Google Source Market. It'll take you right there. Someone said, can you use these for money sites? Yes, that's an advanced tactic. You buy a domain that has good metrics and then you put your content on it and it actually ranks a lot faster. <coughs> someone said, do you like foreign domains and what country domains are best? Yeah, I love foreign domains. Anything where you can read it, or if you can translate it, there's a lot of like French domains that are wide open, that are quality domains. Uh, you did, again, just look at the metrics. So simple stuff. Yeah, by metrics mean trust flow. What I look for is sites with a 10, 10 plus trust flow and 10 plus domain authority. I mean guys, like PBNs are just how you rank stuff. Like that's just how I rank everything. All the rankings I've shown you, that's what I do. It's easy. Um, Joe, I mean, if you want to talk a little bit about, you know, PBNs and the results they've gotten you. I mean, yeah, so far, I mean, we uh, we showed a case study where we did 70K from a PBN in a couple of months uh, with a small five or I think it was actually only five sites in that in that little PBN that got us that. Uh, that helped us rank, like, for the most competitive niche in local which is locksmith. I mean, it's crazy, crazy competitive. Lots of actual SEOs in that niche. Um, so I mean, it was uh, it was super easy to do. Unfortunately, um, I spent way too much damn money, even though it was a small network on those domains. 
things, right? Because I was using Register Compass back in the day. Yeah. So uh, I'm stoked because I just picked up uh, last weekend 10 domains for under 100 bucks with Who Is Privacy. I mean, yeah. you just you can't beat that. Yeah. So um, real quick, um, but I, I know you still are going to answer some questions, but real quick, guys, just uh, give Bang Becker a thank you in the chat if you guys enjoyed today. <clears throat> Um, he put together a crazy offer for you guys. We went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But like he said, no joke. We always put together an awesome offer for our customer base. We've done a lot of business together uh, between Sinwire and now uh, with Source Revive. Um, and so I'm excited for you guys to jump in there. Um, he put together, obviously, he, he made the software package even better for you guys, upped your guys' minutes, brought down the price, uh, gave you more crawls. Um, but what I thought was really cool is that um, there's a ton of training to go along with the software, right? So give me a one if in the last year you've bought software that was overpriced and there was absolutely no training. I don't mean tutorial videos. He's got plenty of those, but no training on how to actually make money with it, how to rank with it, how to sell it, right? That happens way too damn often in this in this marketplace, right? And so uh, that's what I really uh, am thankful for. He gave you guys a lot of uh, of good training on how to actually make money with this stuff. Yeah. Yep. Cool stuff. Um, the last thing I forgot one of the coolest things we just added. I I, I can't believe uh, I forgot to show you guys this. There's one other cool thing in Revive. Um, why does it keep logging me in this account? There we go. Stop it. All right. So the last cool thing about market revive, how cool would it be guys? If like after your crawl, you could just go, we're at 565 now. I could just go through and find all the domains that I wanted to sell and I could just click add to marketplace and then people would buy them. Give me one if you think that'd be pretty cool. Like if this was just like a big marketplace, everybody came from, you could just like click add the marketplace and then people would buy them. Well, we did, we did that. Um, <laughs> we did that. You can sort by user breaking. Uh, Revive has its own marketplace inside of it. I forgot to tell this, but you can come through and like people are selling tons and tons of domains on here. Uh, and what can happen is just people can come on here when you're inside the, the community of Revive and just people buy domains from each other instead of like even crawling. So um, you can see every one of these people with like 36 sales and stuff like that. You can see just how many domains they're selling. Um, people are selling a lot of domains on here. OK, we have like a review system and everything like that. Source market is like bigger. Uh, that's another good place to sell. But if like you're just lazy, like when you're going through, just like do your homework and just be like, and this is something no other tool has. Also, guys, you're not going to find another tool that's going to scan uh, 500,000 pages per 30 minutes. That's the fastest. I, I haven't looked at other people's like VPS scrapers, but that's like running on your own VPS that costs like $200 a month. Uh, plus the tool and plus all that kind of stuff. But you're not going to find another tool that goes out there and scrapes 154,000 pages accurately uh, within this crawl has been running for like 20 minutes. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. You can also go through when you're doing and just add what you're not going to buy to the marketplace. And people pick it up. Uh, you also want to go through when you're adding the marketplace. You want to go fill out some details. You want to set like a good price. You want to build up reviews first. Uh, you can also offer a guarantee so people know they can trust you. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. So pretty cool stuff right there, guys. Um, my final thing, guys, is look, like I'm not going to pressure anybody into getting this. But if you do SEO right now and you want to get results, you do PBNs. Like that's not like a pitch. That's just how it is. The end. Okay. Now, if you want to do PBNs, you do one of three things. Okay. One, you go to Register Compass. Okay. And you find domains from Register Compass. You can see right here, domains that have decent metrics right here. Trust flow of like 16. Um, this one's going for 199 bucks. This one's going for like 69, 300. There's not a single domain right here priced under hundred dollars. That's one way you dig around auctions all day. Uh, and, and find expensive domains. I, Joe, I think you said you were using Register Compass and like how much were you paying per domain? Yeah, I mean, 100, 100 was a good deal. Yeah, that was a good um, deal. But then you also have to be paying for Register Compass too, which is 100 bucks a month. Yeah, and then you're digging through for like, I'm not I'm not ex exaggerating anything here, guys. This isn't like an infomercial. I'll, like you're going to have to dig through Register Compass for like two hours to find like one or two domains, okay? The other way you can go and get PBNs is if you go to source market and you pay 50, 47, $75 a pop. Okay. I'm not logged in on this window, but that's just how much they are. I showed you guys another one. That's the other way to do it. That's expensive too. Or for the price of one PBN on these services, you can come into revive and you can get hundreds, hundreds of PBNs for the price of two PBNs on some of those services for the price of one PBN on there. Okay. You can see how many I've found just in this hour of us being together, just in these crawls without doing much at all. 
Super simple stuff right there, guys. So that's really your choices. If you do SEO, you do PBNs. If you do PBNs, you pay $100 in Register Compass, you pay out the budget vendors, or you cut the entire process and you pay just as little as $99, or I think like 70 bucks a month if you get like the yearly package. And uh, you get as many PBNs as you want to your heart's content, uh, and you can sell them and do all that other kind of stuff like there. So that's really how it is, guys. It's not a pitch, it's just how it is, okay? Again, guys, we're closing this as soon as we close on the webinar. The deal for 4,000 extra minute, 4,000 minutes instead of 2,000 closes after this webinar, after we turn it off right now. So if you're interested, again, source-wave.com slash JT. Um, Joe, that's all I got. Thanks so much, dude. Hey, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming on, sharing with my crew, and obviously the uh, crazy hookup as well. So, uh, guys, jump in. Uh, grab this while you guys can. If you're on the fence, get off the fence. Just go try it. Um, I wanted to let you guys know as well, next week we will be doing the third installment in our PBN training series as well. So go pick up your domains. Go get in Source Revive. Go buy your domains so that next week you can follow along as we're setting up all the sites. And just understand, you guys are going to have a boatload of training with all of Becker's bonuses. I mean, it's nuts. You guys are not going to get left behind. So jump in, grab your domains, and uh, let's follow along next week. Have an awesome, awesome day. And thanks again, Becker, so much for coming. If you guys would, again, just give Becker a big thank you in the chat. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. See you, Becker. All right, later, guys. I'm gonna end the. I'm gonna exit out and end the webinar too, Joe. If that's okay. Okay. Yeah, man.